continuation of the Gospel of Thomas, as read by Purser to Gary Renard in his best-selling book, Your Immortal Reality. There was a rich person who had a great deal of money. He said, I shall invest my money so that I may sow, reap, plant, and fill my storehouses with produce that I may lack nothing. These were the things he was thinking in his heart, but that very night he died. Jay said, show me the stone that the builders rejected. That is the keystone. Jay said, those who know all but are lacking in themselves are completely lacking. Jay said, if you bring forth what is within you, what you have will save you. If you do not have that within you, what you do not have within you will kill you. A person said to him, tell my brothers to divide my father's possessions with me. He said to the person, brother, who made me a divider? He turned to his disciples and said to them, I'm not a divider, am I? Jay said, there are many standing at the door, but those who are alone will enter the bridal suite. Jay said, God's divine rule is like a merchant who had a supply of merchandise and then found a pearl. That merchant was prudent. He sold the merchandise and bought the single pearl for himself. So also with you, seek the treasure that is unfailing, that is enduring where no moth comes to eat and no worm destroys. A woman in the crowd said to him, Look ye are the womb that bore you and the breasts that fed you. He said to her, Look ye are those who have heard the word of the Father and have truly kept it. For there will be days when you will say, Look ye are the womb that has not conceived and the breasts that have not given milk. Jay said, Whoever has come to know the world has discovered the body, and whoever has discovered the body, of that one the world is not worthy. Jay said, Adam came from great power and great wealth, but he was not well but he was not worthy of you, for had he been worthy, he would have not tasted death. Jay said, Foxes have their dens, and birds have their nests but human beings have no place to lay down and rest. Jay said, How miserable is the body that depends on a body? How miserable is the soul that depends on these two? Jay said, The messengers and the prophets will come to you and give you what belongs to you. You, in turn, give them what you have and say to yourselves, When will they come and take what belongs to them? Jay said, Why do you wash the outside of the cup? Don't you understand that the one who made the inside is also the one who made the outside? Jay said, Come to me, for my yoke is comfortable and my lordship is gentle, and you will find rest for yourselves. They said to him, Tell us who you are, so that we may believe in you. He said to them, You examine the face of heaven and earth. But you have not come to know the one who is in your presence, and you do not know how to examine the present moment. Jay said, Seek and you will find. In the past, however, I did not tell you the things about which you asked me then. Now I am willing to tell them, but you are not seeking them. Jay said, One who seeks will find, and for one who knocks it shall be opened. Jay said, If you have money, do not lend it at interest. Rather, give it to someone who will not pay you back. Jay said, God's divine rule is like a woman. She took a little leaven, hid it in dough, and made it into large loaves of bread. Anyone here with two ears had better listen. Jay said, God's divine rule is like a woman who was carrying a jar full of meal. While she was walking along a distant road, the handle of the jar broke and the meal spilled behind her along the road. She didn't know it. She hadn't noticed a problem. When she reached her house, she put the jar down and discovered that it was empty. The disciples said to him, Your brothers and your mother are standing outside. He said to them, Those here who do what my father wants are my brothers and my mother. They are the ones who will enter the father's kingdom. They showed Jay a gold chain and said to him, The Roman emperor's people demand taxes from us. He said to them, 
Give the emperor what belongs to the emperor and give God what belongs to God. Jay said, congratulations to those who know where the rebels are going to attack. They can get going, collect their divine resources and be prepared for the, when the rebels arrive. Jay said, when you make two into one, you will become children of Adam. And when you say, mountain, move from here, it will move. Jay said, God's divine rule is like a shepherd who had a hundred sheep. One of them, the largest, went astray. He left the ninety-nine and looked for the one until he found it. After he had toiled, he said to the sheep, I love you more than the ninety-nine. Jay said, Whoever drinks from my mouth shall become like me. I, my sh I myself shall become that person, and the hidden things will be revealed to that person. Jay said, God's divine rule is like a person who had a treasure hidden in his field but did not know it. And when he died, he left it to his son. The son did not know about it either. He took over the field and sold it. The buyer went ploughing, discovered the treasure and began to lend money at interest to whomever he wished. Jay said, let one who has found the world and has become wealthy renounce the world. Jay said, the heavens and the earth will roll up in your presence and whoever is living with the living one will not see death. Did not I say, those who have found themselves, of them the world is not worthy. The disciples said to him, When will the kingdom come? He said, It will not come by watching for it. It will not be said, Behold here or behold there. Rather, the kingdom of the Father is spread out upon the earth and people do not see it.